thank you. Give it up for Keith, you guys. Come on, you guys. The USA Hustles here. What's going on? The international crowd here tonight. I am Irish and German. Awesome. That means I'm really good at drinking and driving. <laughs> I was partying like a rock star last night. I partied like such a rock star. The alcohol turned me into different rock stars. Because I kept drinking throughout the night. You know, I was out on the dance floor like Mick Jagger, like... <laughs> I tried to make a home, the cops pulled me over, made me walk the line like Bono. <laughs> I wanna run! I wanna run! I wanna A, B, C, D, E, F, G, J. And by the end of the night, you're crawling into the bathroom like a Prince video. naked and bloated like Elvis Presley <laughs> with a peanut butter and banana sandwich stuck between your thighs. <laughs> yeah, I like to party, guys. I had my party nights. <laughs> Why is it when you've had too much to drink that your nice, warm, stable bed makes you nauseous? But for some reason, the cold, hard tile floor splattered with your urine and pubic hair is just the thing you need to settle yourself. <laughs> Fucking bathroom. <laughs> Tastes like peanut butter. <laughs> I had ADD growing up. Well, they didn't actually call it ADD when I was growing up. They uh, didn't have that term. I was ADD old school, you know. <laughs> ADD before ADD was cool. They didn't. They didn't have the term. They just gave me a helmet and tied me to my desk. <laughs> I didn't figure it out, it was ADD for years later, looking at my old yearbook photos, you know? <laughs> had a light on it, you know? <laughs> so I could take night classes, you know? That's what, well, that's what the teacher called it, you know? And she took the rest of everybody out for recess, you know? It's not exactly the easiest to get a prom date, I have to tell you. That was. But, you know, but, uh, the rabbi who lives next to me, he has four boys, and they all have ADD, I can tell, because their yarmulke has a hard shell and a chin strap, so. It's a very diverse neighborhood, man. In my apartment building alone, I'm not kidding you, in my apartment, I have Russian Orthodox Christians living down the hall. Right next to me, I have a Canadian Muslim, and I have Iranian Jews on the second floor. <laughs> Jesus, if you can. <laughs> they exist, seriously, you know, fuck. <laughs> you can't join a sleeper cell in my neighborhood, it can't be done. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> And I'm looking for a job, too, because I just recently got laid off again. Fuck, I don't know what to do anymore, you know? It's like, it's not the first job I've lost, you know? I was a stay-at-home husband for three years. Got fired from that job. <laughs> <laughs> but marriage will teach you things, you know? I, uh, things I never thought I'd have to know. Never things I, I learned, never thought I'd have to learn, you know? I learned how to masturbate more quietly. <laughs> Some of you know what it's like to be in like, that kind of a relationship, you know. It's like, psst, honey. <laughs> you up? <laughs> honey. <laughs> you 
you up. <laughs> I don't go any further with that joke because uh, it just requires me masturbating. <laughs> Until I get a blanket or something to cover me, I'm not going there. That's fine. Not Michael Jackson's kid, no, actually just an actual blanket. But. It's not that kind of rock star party even that I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, so. I can yank it like a stealth fighter. I really can. I've been yanking it for like the last three and a half minutes. <laughs> Cool. You guys think they should legalize marijuana? <laughs> One person I want to hook up after the show, I'll be out there with the car. I, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I think they should legalize marijuana. You know? I had this woman come up to me after a show and she's like, you know, you shouldn't talk about legalizing marijuana. Do you know that one in 10,000 people become extremely violent when they're on marijuana? <laughs> I was like, one in 10,000. That's it. I think we can take him. He may get a few good licks in, but I got 9,999 of my friends helping him to chill the fuck out. Here, take this. It's got a light. So uh, my wife and I, we were just opposites, you know. Uh, you know, we just were. I'm more of a free willing, free wheeling, you know, free spirited kind of type. She's more of a corporate CEO, real tiger in the boardroom, you know. In fact, she didn't even ask for a divorce. She just called me into the office and told me she was downsizing the organization. <laughs> we're gonna have to let a few of you go. Specifically, you, Michael. So. I'm like, who's gonna do all the cooking and cleaning, you know, yard work? She's like, we're outsourcing. Like, and Mexicans ruined my marriage. <laughs> my friends like to give me advice on dating nowadays too, which is interesting. You know, they're like, just be yourself, man. Just, just be yourself. And I'm like, come on, nobody in Los Angeles is themselves for Christ's sake. You know, ask somebody how they're doing. They're like, oh. Good, 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 good. Um, uh, I just auditioned for a pilot, and I'm really, you know, looking forward to that. And I got a, I'm up for avails on a commercial, and uh, I'm due. I'm really, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm like, what if somebody would just once tell the truth? Like, so how you doing? Oh, good, good, good. Living on my credit cards. Can't afford my car insurance. <laughs> Sleeping with someone I don't really like for a place to live. <laughs> Can I borrow your cell phone? <laughs> You know, things have changed though since I was dating, you know, like uh, a lot more girls have tattoos now, like every, you know, and I, I really like the low back tattoo and the lower back, that's cool, because, you know, for a guy like me with the ADD, that's just radical, you know, because anything that can keep my attention focused in the area I need to stay focused is just, <laughs> I'm looking for a girl who really gets me, you know, maybe um, get a tattoo of a crossword puzzle or uh, <laughs> a word trouble, you know, something interesting about it. Sudoku or something. <laughs> And if you want a long-term relationship with me, get a riddle tattooed on your back. You know, something that takes like a year to figure out. That's how you know the relationship's over when you figured it out. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a few words I gotta look up in my library concordance I keep next to my bed, you know? <laughs> you can do it in the dark. <laughs> That's my time, you guys. Thanks a lot.